Hey everybody, welcome back to another fantastic episode of Ready to Die Fighting. I'm Chris, and I've got a new product that I want to share with you. I've had it for about maybe three weeks or so, and I wanted to make sure that I really tested this out and got a good feel for it before I uh, made this review. I wanted to make it as informed as I could, realistically, you know, without like waiting years. Um, so I think we're ready for that at this point. Um, but first, I stopped carrying a pistol uh, several months ago, sometime last year. I can't remember when exactly. And there's a couple reasons. Um, but they all kind of just involved me not feeling very confident that I would be able to retain my weapon if someone were to attack me. I also wasn't convinced I'd be able to draw fast enough um, if I needed to. So basically, I didn't have the confidence that I had the skills. That if somebody attacked me and there was a scramble and I needed to draw or either retain my weapon or whatever, I didn't know how that was going to play out because I hadn't had any training in it. And I've been spending a lot of time doing jujitsu and uh, so kickboxing and, you know, all these other martial arts, Krav Maga, you know, all the stuff that I do, I was feeling really good about my ability to defend myself just with my bare hands or maybe with a knife, but not sure about the gun because I never trained with the gun. So I don't have the natural reflexes built in or just like the, um, I don't know, the attributes, the intuitive knowledge and body mechanics and awareness that I confidently could carry and defend myself with this pistol if I was actually under attack and if a scramble was involved. So I stopped carrying. Um, and so an aspect of that is that my clothing, I'm almost always wearing something like this, just like some, some comfortable shorts. There's no belt loops or anything on this thing and a t-shirt or maybe sweatpants or, you know, that sort of thing where I can't really wear a tactical belt or, uh, like a firearms belt that's like the thick, like a 5'11", it's thick, it's rigid. You have to basically have belt loops that are also really strong to hold it in case of a tassel and somebody tries to grab the gun. It's not going to just break the uh, belt loops, but it also has to be thick enough or um, tall enough, however you want to call it, to accommodate the belt itself. And women's clothes in particular, our belt loops just aren't that big and they certainly aren't structured or anything. And so I didn't really have good clothes for it as in addition to my uh, lack of grappling with the weapon skills. So two solutions. I started taking, um, well, it's not really a class, but my gym were offering like some weapons grappling. And so I started doing that. And that is a lot of fun. It's very eye opening. It's very different. Um, so I'm building the skills, but the wardrobe also has to change or something, some sort of accommodation or product and that's where this comes in this is the cons comfort concealment belt uh, this is made in the good old us of a it comes in i don't know if, can, can you guys scan that if you wanted to i don't know where it would take you or anything but uh, pause the video scan over there if you want i don't know it comes in multiple sizes extra small small medium large extra large i got the large you measure yourself around your waist where you would carry, and then you can use that measurement. For me, large is between 36 and 43 inches, or 91 to 109 centimeters, whichever system you want to use. This is, I'm just showing you the box, not showing you the product yet. Uh, but it's, um, it's machine washable. Don't, you know, hang to dry, do not use a dryer, do not use bleach or anything, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I like, I like the packaging. I like the box that it came in a lot. It's got graphics on the inside and the outside. But the, I like the packaging. It was around 30 some odd dollars. Ordered it online, shipped to me, and even though they said they were back ordered, I still got it within, I think, like a week or so. So I was pretty happy about that. But take a look. So this is what it looks like when I'm wearing it. It's right there. You could probably see. You know, it's not completely concealed in t-shirt and shorts. If you pay attention, you can see it. But it fits like this. And it's, uh, let's see, I'll go like that. 
And so the idea is that if you're wearing some type of shorts or yoga pants or sweatpants or whatever, you have this basically a belly band. It's a thin belly band and it clips onto your belt. Or sorry, your holster clips onto the belt itself. It secures with Velcro, like so. And, uh, oh, what happened to, I must have dropped it. Oh, well, they had another little strap that held, to, just to keep this neat little piece of Velcro that went around to kind of just hold that together. Must have dropped it, I thought I had it with me. Oh, it's in my pocket. It's in my pocket, of course. Here we go. I don't typically use that. It doesn't seem super necessary to me, but if that's something you wanted to do, uh, there was an extra dollar for that piece. But it's made out of, um, I'm not sure what, actually, but the outside has this, I think it's pretty cool looking. Um, the It has the logo or name of it printed in or embossed or whatever you want to call that, like some kind of cutout. But this, the shiny part is very grippy. And um, yeah, it's like your, my finger does not want to slide across this. It's very grippy, very textured, not textured. Grippy is the best word. It's like sticky, skid proof type of thing. And the part that goes up against your skin feels kind of like a neoprene or something similar. It's like it's, it's soft, it's smooth. It doesn't really make you sweat. Um, I've been wearing it for like three weeks and it's summertime and it has been hot and it hasn't been making me real sweaty. Uh, it doesn't seem to stink. Um, it's, it feels pretty good as I'm wearing it. The, as you may have noticed, I've got a bit of a belly on me. And so the, this does, it sits my, like my belly does sit on it. it and especially where I recently had surgery. So the, the incision site, it kind of rubs there and it doesn't feel great, but I don't think it's worse than any other belt. I think that's just a consequence of eating too many cookies. You know, sometimes you just, you know, there's pros and cons to everything. The cookies taste delicious, but then it also makes belts uh, rub up against you in not the most comfortable way. And so to put it on, you just wrap it around you, however you want. I usually leave the holster on just where it is and then I kind of just slide it into position and tighten up. And then take your pants and tuck everything in. I'm just gonna why not? I usually do not tuck it in with the shirt, but just for illustrative purposes. And it sits there and it's pretty comfortable. Like I can wear this all day long without any issue and I have for about three weeks. I don't always wear it with a gun because I can't carry at work and so um, but I will often still just wear the belt just because I wanted to I was testing it I wanted to see how durable it's gonna be how comfortable it is if it's gonna make me if it's gonna make me chafe or rub funny or anything as I'm moving around and working and I'm working in a bike shop so there's a lot of bending and lifting and turning and doing things and it's fine. This all sounds fine and dandy. This all sounds great. And for the most part, it is. Except in my weapons grappling class. <sighs> That's where things kind of fell apart. It's all good walking around. I went on bike rides with it. Like, it was fine. It's all good if you're standing upright or even sitting down and you're just kind of being chill. Even riding a bike, it was fine with a backpack on, it was fine. But once I got to the point where I'm rolling, I'm scrambling, where I've got someone who's like actively trying to take the gun, what was happening was it would, it started sliding around. So this, even though it's got this grippy stuff on the outside, it's not enough on this plastic. I guess there's just not enough surface area, or I, I don't know, but it, it started slipping like this. The belt itself also started kind of going up and twisting and sometimes the whole belt itself would 
twist around like that and move. And so it ended up happening. I think more than once it ended up being just like in the middle of my back like that. Um, sometimes it came all the way to the other side. And that just didn't really work because I can't really retain the weapon if I don't actually know where it is on my body. When And when all, of, you know, you're grappling and all this stuff's happening, people are kicking and grabbing and all that, it's it's hard to feel like, okay, where where exactly is that without grabbing it? So if I if I see the person like reaching or suspect that they're going for it, or maybe I've got a split second where I can go for it and draw, and I reach right there and it's not there, uh, I'm in trouble, <laughs> you know? And so sometimes it would end up on this side and I'm not used to doing things left-handed and now the guy is grabbing it on this side. I'm like, oh crap, I don't even realize he's gotten it because it's, I'm thinking to guard this side, not that side, and it's shifted around. So this is, um, I like the idea of it. I think it looks cool. Price-wise is right where I was wanting to pay, but it kind of all falls apart when you are in a scramble. Something else that happened was uh, a guy grabbed it, and actually that time it didn't happen. Most of the time it didn't happen. This was only once. The whole holster came with it and so he grabbed I, I was holding his one arm like that or however and so he was able to grab and so he couldn't shoot me because he couldn't access the trigger and he couldn't use his other hand and they think he was like doing like that or something and so the holster held onto the gun well but the whole holster came off the belt so that was also an issue um i think maybe um, if I use something, I mean, I don't know. I was thinking there's the, the styles that's like a closed loop, like it's not a clip like that, but it's like all connected, it's closed up. Maybe that would work better. Um, that would also maybe hold a little bit tighter, perhaps, and not slide around as much. I don't really know. So I thought this was a solution. It was working well until I really started testing it and like, a more real life type of situation. And unfortunately, this is one of those things that you really want to work in the real life situation. You know, if somebody is attacking me, there's probably going to be a scramble and I really need the, I don't really need it in the, in when things are nice and chill and I'm just sitting around at that point, who cares? I need it to be where I am training and know it to be like if I'm practicing my draws right here and every here time I'm going here when I need it it needs to be right there so yeah it kind of falls apart for me at that point uh the quality seems good it's holding up well despite you know grappling with it and riding bikes with it and wearing it all day for three weeks uh, it doesn't look to be the least bit worn or anything like it's fine um but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I am open to suggestions. If you know of a product that would work a little bit better, or maybe if I need to use a different type of holster, perhaps, um, maybe, I don't know. I'm not sure. So I'm going to keep using it. I'm going to keep training with it and experimenting with it and see if I can come up with a solution to make this work. But I'm also going to look for some other alternatives. Uh, I don't know what that would be. Leave me suggestions in the comments. Um, if this is something you're interested in, uh, con comfort concealment, I think just.com. It's pretty basic. I don't think they had much else on their website except this in a few different colors, multiple sizes, and then um, you could purchase also just this little piece of Velcro to, a little strap to neaten it up. And so that's, that's basically it, around $35, $36 plus shipping, um, coming pretty quick. I do like it, in theory. In practice, eh, eh. Uh, Like and subscribe if this is helpful to you. Uh, make sure you hit that notification bell. I will be taking a weapons retention class in just a couple weeks. I'm not gonna be recording it, but after the class, I will more than likely make a video where I share some of the things that I've learned and um, so if you're interested in that sort of thing, um, yeah, like and subscribe, follow, 
all that fun stuff. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.